All right, welcome back to another H1 video. And in this video, we're gonna check out eight Jeep accessories that I bought for my brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler Willis. Let's get into it. One of the first accessories that I got for my vehicle is a screen protector because I don't want my screen to be full of scratches. So let's take off the plastic from the dealership and put on the screen protector. So let's get into it. So the screen protector I got is anti-glare, which is gonna be really helpful because I was trying to back in and the glare was keeping it from being seen. So take all this off and yeah, let's, let's get into it. Oh, I'm already dropping things. All right, so you get, it basically gives you everything that you need to install it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get it installed right now. Like I said, since I've already got the screen protector on there, luckily I shouldn't have to worry too much about dust or anything like that being on the vehicle. So it tells you where the front end and where the back is. It's gonna peel this off real quick. All right, we're gonna clean it off really well. Got a little lens cleaning wipe. Take off my glasses just so I can see really well in here. All right, make sure we don't get any little dust bunnies in there. I'm gonna use our dust sticker removal just to double, triple check everything. All right, so this screen is gonna get as, un as dusted as it is gonna get. So I got this one from Spigen. Again, everything that I purchased is gonna be available as a link in the description. All right, so what we gotta do first, I've read the instructions, is peel the back film. And then it does have little handles so you can just stick it onto the car. So we're just gonna stick it. Stick, just gonna stick it, stick it. Get it right up in there. Get all these little air bubbles out. Let's let stick really well, and then we just peel off the back film. And then it, they do give us a little squeegee so that we can squeegee everything off, which I have lost. Found the squeegee, found the squeegee. So yeah, there are a few air bubbles on there, so we're just gonna squeegee them out. Get the, let this screen protector just really mesh in here. Perfect, perfect. And then just get this one out here. And there it is. Bubble free installation, glare free. I'm pretty satisfied. All right, let's check out the other things I got that'll hopefully be a lot easier to install than this. Okay, so the next accessories, and yes, I'm doing all this in the vehicle because I'm very professional, are seat holders. So they're these cup holders that I've been really spoiled in using in my old vehicle, so I'm gonna put them on a the new one. So let's check it out. So they're extra cup holders because I like drinks. So again, all this stuff is from Amazon. But we get these things out and yeah you've probably seen them on tiktok and stuff but they just kind of slide in to the side of the vehicle like this and you get like an extra little little cup holder pretty neat so you put it in here and then if there's too much space what you do is you add these little foam pads that come and come with it as buffers to add to make it you know fit better so let's add these right now because they're a little loose And just like that, it's installed and you get an extra little cup holder for when you have extra beverages. So I got one for the passenger side and one for the driver's side. I don't know, they were like 20 bucks, I think, for both. Pretty good option if you have a lot of beverages. But all right, we're gonna install the other one. You don't need to see that. Let's just move on to the next accessory. All right, so the next accessories I got are phone holders because I'm a millennial and I need my phone in my car. So I got this mob armor and I picked up a pop socket mount because I love my pop sockets. Now, one of the things about these Jeeps is that there's not really a great place to mount a phone. You really got to kind of figure it out. So I'm hoping I can stick this piece here and then I can stick the part that's supposed to go to the phone to the pop socket mount and then use my pop socket still. That's my goal. I want to be able to still use my pop socket. So let's see if I can figure this out. I don't know. We're going to figure this out together. This will work. I'm literally MacGyvering this. Uh, but again, this is available on Amazon. It said you know, it works well, it sticks to a lot of surfaces, and this was also purchased via Amazon. So this is similar to the vent mount, but it's just a sticky. So I'm gonna stick this to this and hope for the best. 
So let's get into it. So this is by Mob Armor, like I mentioned. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. This is stuck to this. Magnets work really well. All right, so the goal is to see if I can get this here. So either this is gonna work out really well or it's not gonna work at all. We shall see. But this is like a 3M sticky type material. It's a strong magnetic clasp. And this just like, well, let's see. Let's, let's test and fit before I stick it. Would this be a good spot? Yeah, it works. So we're gonna just see how much of this I can get stuck onto here. And while we're sticking this, I'm gonna try and figure out the pop mount. So there's another magnetic base that I'm gonna stick to this and hopefully it works. I don't know. If it doesn't work, we'll, I'll figure, have to figure something else out. Fingers crossed this works. So see, it's a little sticky mount, so I'm just gonna stick this like that. Again, totally MacGyvering all this. There's a very good chance none of this is gonna work, but I'm sticking sticky things to sticky things. Well, that's stuck to this for life. It worked. Go me. All right. So as you can see, this worked out pretty well. Uh, all right. Next accessory. Okay. And the next accessory, of course, CarPlay. So I've got two cables here. I've got a USB-C to lightning and I got the regular USB to lightning cable. I might just do the regular USB to lightning cable. Um, no, you know what? Let's do the USB-C because you know what? It's the new times. It's the new technology. Let's get this thing going. So this is going to be the easiest installation because it's just kind of plug and play. So we're going to get this, stick it in here. And then this just kind of goes into the phone. Start it up. And uh, let's get CarPlay connected. Allow. And CarPlay is connected. Pretty simple. Back to the next cheap accessory. All right, so this next accessory is kind of the one I'm most excited about. It is called the Flick. If you saw my TikTok on it, you probably already know about it, but it is a really fun little thing you can put in the back of your vehicle. Let me get this out. I think it's still on. So, you know, say someone's kind of following you a little too closely, you could be like, yo, stop, slow down. But say they, you know, they're being a little rude. Nah, bro, nah, not cool. It comes with a little remote control. Uh, this thing sticks via 3M tape. I don't know, I just thought this was really kind of funny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the 3M off because I don't really like the 3M stickiness and I'm gonna replace it with some command strips because I love command strips. So I'm gonna replace these with command strips and just stick it to the window up here at the top of the Jeep. And yeah, I just think it's kind of funny. So let's go ahead and install that. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is find the best spot for it. So my sister had a good suggestion. I should have done that at night. What I'm gonna do is install it now during the day. So you'll see what it looks like during the day and what it looks like at night. It'll be a lot more visible at night, but just gonna find a good spot to put this, maybe like here. And then, you know, you can see here. And then the getting too close. Wow. Cool. <laughs> I think it's funny. So we're gonna put it probably right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the command strips on it and yeah, let's see. All right, so there's a little debate on whether or not the tire is gonna cover this. So I'm gonna get closed in here and see if the tire covers it. So close the glass. Okay, and I'll close the tire. Okay, close it all the way, all the way. All right, so it looks like I found the spot. Everybody's kind of directing me that that looks good right there, right there. Okay, one second. So you should be able to still hear me putting in the command strips. All right, it's installed. Can you open it? All the way, 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 all the way. All right, so let's see what the final product looked like. I'm kind of excited. I've been waiting to install this thing in the car. So here it is with the, just the hand and then the flick. I think that looks kind of rad. And then uh, I'm gonna insert a clip right now of what it looks like at nighttime. So that's what it looks like at night. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so I think I've got two more things to install. One's more of an installation and the other one is but uh, let's get into the second installation. All right, and the next cheap accessory that I picked up, also available on Amazon, is this little bullet antenna. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of neat. And I'll be honest, I use CarPlay, so I'm not, I, don't, I don't need an antenna. So I'm gonna unscrew this and install this. Pretty simple install, nothing too crazy. All right, so yes, we got these pliers. It was a little easier now. Just a little kind of twist it off. All right, so we're just gonna twist this off. Okay, keep twisting, we're twisting, we're twisting, and it's off. So we're gonna replace this old antenna with this cool little bullet one just for funsies. And we're done. Short stubby antenna. 
won't get very great uh, reception, but like I said, I pretty much use Apple CarPlay and listen to my own music, so I'm not too concerned about that. But I think I've got two more accessories. I don't even know how many more of the things I bought. So let's, let's keep chugging along. All right, so as you can see, I got the big open top and sometimes I might not wanna close it every time I park my car to pick something up real quick. But this is leather and it's gonna get hot. So I picked up a little just sleeve for this. I'm just gonna sleeve it on over, put the leather in here to protect the leather as well. So it's just, just this bad boy right here. So there's a front part right here so you can open it. And I think we, you literally just kind of put it on like over this. Let me see if I can get this here. All right, and after about 20 minutes of struggling, it's on. Whew. All right, now let's get down to the last couple things. So the last accessory I picked up are seat covers. So they're just regular, like kind of old seat covers. I don't think I'm gonna put them on, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, I bought them, I'm gonna show them to you, but I'm not gonna install them because I pretty much only bought them for when I go to the gym. So I don't get the seats gross. So we're gonna do that. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is install the floor mats. So let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, like I mentioned, I did get two seat covers for the vehicle. So they're pretty simple to install. They were like the cheapest ones they had on Amazon. So you just kind of install it and it goes over the front and the back. And it kind of just ties on. You get a little grip for the person behind you. And yeah, that's kind of it. They just kind of sit over the vehicle. They're water resistant, scratch resistant. Um, they're pretty nice to have, but I'll be honest, I kind of want to rock just the regular seats for a while. And I'll probably install these at a later date. Maybe once I realize the seats are getting gross, but anyway, these are the seat covers I bought. All right, and last but not least, uh, the Mopar all weather floor mats. So we're going to go ahead and just, uh, just start installing. I forgot that Jeeps have a drain hole. So if your car gets wet on the inside, it can just drain down to the ground. So obviously the drain hole's here. This is the passenger side one. Now we're, gonna, now we're ready for the install, let's go. So one thing you'll know, if you can see right here, you can actually pick up this little piece of fabric here somewhere. You see that? You pick this up, you can actually cut this off, like this. And then we take this off, like this, and you unplug it here, and there's a little drain all the way down to the ground. So we just align the drain here with the drain on the floor mats and we should be good to go. So let me just align it, click, click, just like that. And then the drain we took on the bottom, we just replug. And that is the front mat installed. All right, so now we're just pretty much doing the same thing to this side, taking off the drain plugs. Then we remove this and then install the format. Okay. And the seal. All right, so these go sideways like this, because I'm smart and I knew how to do it the very first time. So they go like this, so then we just find it, we lock them in here with the tabs, and then we put in the other sides right over there. All right, now we get this side, like this. We'll attach these here, like this. And then we just, click it into place and that is the floor mats installed all right so thank you for staying tuned i know this seems kind of rushed i bought the vehicle literally today got all the accessories and i could not wait to install them because one i wanted to have all the accessories in the car and i wanted to do it on video for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching uh thank you guys so much for liking the video subscribing everything all this is really helping so thank you guys for helping finance this. If you guys want more Jeep videos, more Jeep accessory videos, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, like I said, I'm starting a separate vlog channel for this Jeep. So uh, the vlog channel is gonna be 8 True one vlog. So it'll be linked down below, no subscribers. If you want vlogs, if you want more just daily Jeep content, make sure to subscribe to that. 
But anyways, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, and other guys have to subscribe. Peace. Thank <music> you.